What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight is Saturday night and I have been craving spaghetti all week. Spaghetti is like my absolute favorite dinner. So tonight I wanted to share this recipe that I've been doing for about six months, but it is so good and it is spaghetti squash spaghetti. So to start, you will need a spaghetti squash. Um, and then I'll walk you through what you do, but you basically cut it in half, you season it, put it in the oven, um, and then you make your spaghetti sauce and whatever meat and vegetables you want with that. Um, and there it is, it's very easy. So I will show you how I make it. Um, and yeah, here we go. Okay, so the first step is to take a spaghetti squash, these big yellow things, and cut it in half long ways. Now, this is really hard. I struggle, <laughs> so um, bear with me on this section. Side note, it is um, kind of a fight to cut this open, so be really careful where you're pointing the knife. Um, in the meantime, while I'm figuring out how to slice my spaghetti squash and season it, I've got the oven preheating to 450 degrees. Okay, well, let me get back to it. Yes! I got it! Alright. We did it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how I get the innards out of the squash. Um, I've tried this a few different ways, a few different times, and this is the technique that works best for me uh, and works the fastest. But with this dish, it's really fun because you have to be um, not afraid to get your hands dirty. So I just cut crossways and slice into the section so that it kind of like detaches all the stringy bits from the squash. So then it'll look a little more like that. And then I'll take a big spoon. Okay, so the finished product will look like this. And we'll just clean up all of those pieces, but that is your base for your spaghetti. So I took our cleaned out and halved spaghetti squash and put it on a baking tray. So anything that's like a cookie sheet or a baking tray will work like this. You can even wrap them in foil and then put them in the oven. I like to do it like this because I get to season it and it's almost like you're adding flavor to your pasta. Um, so this is where you get your hands dirty. So you take extra virgin olive oil and we will just pour on in the center and just a good like tablespoon or two. And then I'm going to take some salt and pepper and everything you can just kind of like douse in the middle. Um, and don't be afraid to like over season because each one of these holds a lot of those like squash noodles. Um, so the more seasoning, the more you'll spread that flavor. Um, so I've done salt, pepper, and garlic salt, or I'm sorry, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then this is fresh rosemary, um, but you can just get rosemary in the store. Okay, so then we'll take our hands and all of our olive oil and seasonings are just sitting right in there nice and pretty. And I like to just massage it in to the spaghetti squash. Kind of get the edges. There, and that's what it looks like. So these are gonna hang out in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. I know it's kind of, um, kind of a long time to wait. However, in the meantime, I'm gonna wash the dishes that I have dirtied prepping the squash, and then I'm going to start on my veggies and my sauce. So I'm just cooking up some hamburger um, with some onion powder. 
and a little bit of salt. But other than that, that's all the seasoning I did for the meat. Woo, and it is smelling good. Um, so I'm just gonna wait until it all gets kind of a light pink color. And then I'm gonna add in some freshly washed mushrooms. All right, this is looking good. And I pushed all the meat to the side so there's a little hole for my mushrooms. Let me grab them. I love the smell of sauteed mushrooms. It is like, oh, my favorite thing. Especially with butter, but I can't have butter right now because it's not diet friendly, but sauteed butter and mushrooms, woo, looking good. We're gonna let this go for just a little bit, um, but we have about 20 minutes left on the squash. So let me take a look. I'll show you what they look like right now. Looking real tasty. Um, getting nice and charred on the edges, which is what I like. Spaghetti, hamburger, topping, cooking. So while I'm waiting for all of this to simmer, I thought I would quick update you on how I'm doing with my diet. So if you haven't seen my previous video of my pantry tour, or you just need a reminder, over Christmas vacation, I took a blood toxicity test and I had eight foods come back. So I had cow's milk, egg, wheat, almond, pea, like the vegetable, um, tuna, rye, and peanut. Um, so I have to cut those out of my diet for eight weeks. I have just finished week four, so I'm halfway there, and I'm feeling amazing. I took this test not really thinking like I had any symptoms that I needed to be concerned about, um, but I feel really, really good. I haven't had a headache. Um, my skin has been clearing up. Additionally, I have had way more energy and I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I've had a way more like positive outlook on things uh, just because I, I think I have to stay positive in order to maintain this diet. Um, but also I'm eating foods that make my body happier and I think that that is having an outward effect. So there's that. In addition, with this diet, um, I've been doing an eight week fitness challenge. So I just finished week five of that with the fitness challenge and the diet together, I've seen results faster than I've ever seen them, um, especially since I'm not eating dairy or wheat. Oh, these are ready. I'm gonna check on them, hold on. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I've seen results a lot faster. I don't think anything crazy dramatic has happened. Like, I mean, I've only been working out at this level for four weeks. Hold on, this is not. There we go. Um, but I definitely feel like areas that I've wanted to trim um, have trimmed probably like a little less than half. Like um, just losing fat in places that I wanted to lose fat. I also feel like I've been gaining muscle, to muscle tone and muscle way faster. Um, and as weird as this sounds, because it feels like there's so much that I can't eat, it's almost like a challenge to find what I can eat and to prepare myself to make sure that I'm eating enough. Um, for the past few years, I've actually needed to gain weight, and I definitely feel like I am gaining weight. And especially since, you know, like muscle weighs more than fat, um, I do feel like that's making a positive difference. I need to weigh myself and like confirm on that, but I've been around the 113, 114 range and I would like to get to 120. Um, I think that's a healthy weight for my height and for my age. So that is the goal. We will see how it goes. These are looking really good. They're smelling really good. I'm gonna add in the sauce and then I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit and then I'll put some spinach on it. Okay, so I picked up the sauce at the grocery store and I actually have not tried it yet. Um, but all of the ingredients are completely pure. So I haven't, um, so there's nothing that's like unidentifiable on it. It's all tomato puree, um, diced tomatoes, portobello mushrooms, and then all organic ingredients, spices, like virgin, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and that kind of stuff. So all really natural, organic, 
we're gonna see how it tastes and I will let you know. Okay, add my sauce to the mixture. I'm just gonna do the entire jar. Um, I'm making a really big batch, so it's just me eating this. And I'm making, um, so I'm making a full pound of hamburger, a full spaghetti squash, um, a full package of sliced mushrooms, and then a full jar of tomato sauce. My goal is to have this last me through the week um, so that if I'm hungry or just tired and need a meal, I've got leftovers that I can eat. Uh, that's something that I've been doing lately on Saturdays or Sundays. I will make a really, really big meal and it'll last me a couple lunches and a couple more dinners. Uh, and that has been really, really helpful. Plus, everything tastes better the second day. Like, leftovers are normally like way more delicious because the foods had time to kind of develop those flavors. So, there's always a silver lining. Okay, so I've added about half a bag of washed spinach and I'm just gonna let it kind of steam on top um, and add some extra greens. I've been eating a lot of greens. Um, I like them sauteed or steamed. Um, it's just easier to eat and it's really cold out right now so a salad doesn't sound like super great. So I've been like cooking my greens. Um, so, like this. So spaghetti squash is ready. The timer has just gone off. So we're going to take it out and I will show you what it looks like. Oh yeah. Okay, so I put these on a cutting board to let them cool. Um, but I'm just really hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred them. They're still just a little bit hot, um, but I don't care. So prep time for this dish, I would say is about like 55 minutes because you cook it, you cook the squash in the oven for about 40 minutes, and then it, I would say it takes probably like 10 to 15 in between there for cutting the squash and shredding the squash and all of that. Uh, however, it's just so delicious. I think it's completely worth it. And while you're waiting for the squash to cook, you can clean your kitchen, you can do your sauce, uh, homework, I don't know, like a little facial, whatever works. But it definitely gives you time to kind of multitask and all that. So just for a closer up look, I'm gonna show you what it does. And it's so easy. And then you mix in all of that good seasoning and just scrape out as many noodles as you want. You can also leave it in this and just put the sauce in it and you don't have to like dirty a plate. Um, however, that is a lot of squash noodles. So I would recommend separating them. All right, ta-da, that is what the spaghetti looks like. This is our spaghetti squash spaghetti with sauteed spinach, mushrooms, and hamburger, and organic spaghetti sauce. Okay, so I got a bite of everything. Mm. Yum. Mm. Okay, yep, probably one of the best ones I've made of this dish. The squash just adds such a good texture and flavor. The sauce is nice and balanced, and the added vegetables and meat and seasonings are just really perfect. So yeah, this is the dish. To close out, I wanted to say a thank you to all of you that follow along and watch my videos, like, comment, share. It really means so much, and it's been awesome to hear your feedback. Uh, so please like, comment, share on this video, and let me know what you think. I have many more to come.